this video, I'm going to show you how you guys can fix the procedure entry point could not be located in the dynamic library. If you're getting the same error in your Windows 7, Windows 8, or Windows 10, or Windows 11, then you have to follow the video from starting to end. Or it's going to work for all the version of Windows 10. You don't have to worry about anything, you just have to follow the tutorial. The first step is to download the setup file. You'll get this, but the first step is to download the zip file. You will get this zip file in my description. Let's go ahead and download the file from my website. Once you download the file, then you have to extract it. Extract it using Finbar or 7zip or windows so you start to right click on it then here you will find extract all button if you don't find extract all button here you can extract it in the winrar i'm gonna right click extract all you can extract now when you extract the file then you will get two folders one is visual c plus plus setup and then the second is command first you will open a visual c plus plus table package then here you will get the setup first one is for 64 bit Second one is for 32 bit and third one is for ARM. Let me show you how you can check which you have to install. Right click on this piece and click on property. And here you will get your system type. I'm using a 64 bit system type. So I have to install the first one x64. You have the 32 bit 60 uh, system type then you have to install the second one. I have the 64 bit system type. So I will double click on this PC disk x64.exe. Then I will select this. I agree to the license terms and condition. Then I will click on install. And you have to click on yes. Now it will take a little bit of time. Then it will install Microsoft Visual C 2013 in your Windows. Now we are done. Now, second step to open the commands folder. Then open the cmd commands.txt. Copy the command from here. So run this command into the cmd. Open cmd from here. Make sure that you open it as administrator. Click yes is the command here by control v and hit enter now it can take a little bit of time verify the error and the problem or it will verify the problem and then it will find the problem and then it will solve your issue automatically now all you have to do is just wait once the process is completed then it will look something like this then you should click close this and you should close this now we are all done then you have to launch a program in which you are facing the error now this time you're not going to face any problem that is how you can fix this problem inside your windows so hope you guys found this video helpful make sure to like button and also subscribe my channel thanks for watching so if you have any query or question yet then you can comment me down below and you can also contact me at my website which is errorinaminute.com